What's going on, Beaches? Welcome back to some Extra Thirsty. It's your boy, Papa Swolio, and we are going to quench some thirst today. I hope you are ready. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling warmed up. Today is exciting. Exciting times. Oh, exciting times. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, fam? Come on. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Well, I'm going in anyway. I don't need your fucking help. I don't need your help. We're going. I'm doing it. I'm doing it without you. Because, fam, we got five on the mother clock. And we want to go fierce and fat today. Let's talk about fatties, shall we? Let's talk about fatties. Let's talk about fatties that deserve some big, salty, fucking thirsty sack. I, I, I'm just, it's a habit of saying salty sack, salty ball bag. But this is where I quench the thirst from the ball bag. But... I'm the wielder of that knowledge cock, so you know how it goes. We're talking fierce fatty. And um, what's fun about this situation, this is the original video about some, I think it was a British reality show, but most recently I did an extra thirsty because of the, uh, the fierce fat, the fierce fat friends, the fierce fat um, group, the fierce fat academy. I, I, it's fucking tongue tied. The fierce fat academy where you can learn 360 degrees of absolutely nothing you might remember the previous extra thirsty so make sure you check that out but it is literally just fat acceptance disease and obesity and diabetes run amok this is the kind of nonsense that we have been fighting that we have been fighting for so long and this is the facebook group the facebook group that goes along with the fierce fat academy or the fatty fierce academy or the academy of fierce fatties or fucking i don't fucking know i don't i don't know I, I don't really care but it's it's fun it's fun to talk about because we push health so hard we push health so hard and we know the realities i mean drop a comment down below if you have dealt with diabetes personally you yourself type 2 diabetes your family a close friend a co-worker has anyone died from obesity related issues uh, heart disease cancers like we all deal with a lot of this shit in our lives so to see people that are flaunting obesity, which like I've mentioned in previous videos, you don't see obese old people. Why? Because they die. They die before they get really old. You see an, a fucking obese, a morbidly obese 90 year old, 80 year old, 70 year old. Like how old do you see morbidly obese people? Because they don't start, they start not going anywhere and they start dying in their fucking sixties. They and fucking, they fucking die. This is bad. This is bad. Everyone that you see that's fat positive, we'll get into this in a second. I'm, I gotta, I gotta catch up. But anyone that you see that's fat positive is in their like their thirties, and they look like they're in their forties. And yeah, for now, for now, wait till twenty forty. We'll see how everyone's holding up. All right. Anyway, fierce fatty friends is a Facebook group that goes along with this fucking nonsense. So here we have. This is what you should do. This is what you should do in the fierce fatty group. Do you should be kind to each other and support each other where you can. This is your community. Share things that make you feel good. And songs and images. Oh, songs that relate to becoming a fierce fatty. Share pictures of your fat fucking body if you have one and would like to. If you live in a smaller body. Oh, are you renting? How's your lease? What? Jesus Christ. This is a lot to unpack. <laughs> the fucking lease of your living your smaller body. You should move the fuck out. Uh, please be mindful that seeing a smaller body could be triggering for others. This space... <laughs> The space centers and celebrates fat bodies. Have fun. Oh my God. Are you leasing your fat ass? Really? You're leasing it? Well, it's an expensive body because you're shoving a ton of food in there. So you should decrease your rent. Don't do this. Don't use the O words. Yeah, don't use obese. You should block it out. Yeah, don't use language. Censoring. Let's censor freedom of speech. Let's do that. That's what's going on in the country right now. Is that a good idea? Should we censor what we say, what we're allowed to say? Is that a good idea? Yeah, say obese. Say fat. Fat. Obese. Who cares? Sticks and stones. Get over it. Your fucking feelings. To find out what the O words are and why they are a slur. Really? A slur? You're putting obesity up there with the N word? Really? You're putting... You're putting... Okay. No mention of being fat as a negative. <laughs> no, because it's a pot because it's a fucking positive. My fat body is horrible. E.g. Fat body is horrible. Instead, say something like, I'm struggling with my internalized fat phobia today. I'm struggling walking up the stairs. I'm struggling catching my breath. I'm struggling trying to find my dick so I could take a piss. I'm struggling to put on my shoes. Oh my God. 
Don't mention your weight or size. This could be triggering for others. Yep, you might shock people with reality. No food moralizing. Avoid labeling foods as good or bad when you can talk about, you can talk about how you're struggling to let go of beliefs. Yep, let go of those beliefs. Brainwash yourself here in the Fierce Fat Academy. Um, don't post pictures of food with a moralizing message. Example, I hate sal I hate a sal I ate a salad so I'm good. I'm so good. You can't say that you're good for eating a salad. Oh, you can't be proud of eating real food. We're going over time, so stay with me. I have to read the rest of this. Uh, in doubt, use a trigger warning. <laughs> oh, trigger warning. Oh, your feelings. Oh, your feelings. Oh, my God. God, I, I cannot... I cannot state, I can not overstate enough how little I care about these people's feelings. Yeah, I said these people. People that don't care about health, that are actively promoting death. People that are actively promoting self-harm. Look, it's one thing to love yourself, but can you love yourself by taking care of yourself and not promoting it? Look, inside Swolnormous X, we, and in the Swole fam right here, Look, if you're obese, we got you. But fucking, that's a mentality. This is fucking disgusting. This is ridiculous. A trigger warning. Fuck your feelings, goddammit. Fuck your fucking feelings. Here's what a trigger warning means. Go to everydayfeminism.com. My fucking God. Don't share promotional material or solicit other members through a DM. There you go. I can... I concur with that one. I concur with that one. I have that in the Swole fam too. You don't share promotional shit and outside links and start promoting nonsense. There you go. There you go. I agree. We agree on something, right? You see? You see we're bridging the gap. Fam, what are your thoughts on this ridiculous fucking nonsense? What are your thoughts on this fuckery? Drop a comment down below. What you think about all this? This real, look, as if you didn't notice, this pisses me off. This pisses me the fuck off. It really does. It pisses me off. And why does it piss me off? Because they're not, they're actively causing harm. They're promoting harm. They're promoting people to brainwash themselves. This is brainwashing. That's what it is. This is extremist nonsense. And this is brainwashing women into thinking that they love being fat and that they should be getting fatter. Really? We should be? All right, here we go. Yeah, nice. Nice. That sounds like attempted... Is that murder? Is that attempted murder or manslaughter? Is that something that's a, that's a crime? That sounds like a fucking felony, if I ever heard one. This is gross shit. What are your thoughts, fam? Drop it down below. I got nothing else to say, but make sure you subscribe because I am going fucking deep. Deep, motherfucker. Deep. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. I hope I quench your thirst. Peace out, fam. We go from humble to flexing. You DM, I'm texting. She hit me right back. I'm on the move, I'm not stressing the king to these peasants, you know that's a fact. Y'all hate the press, y'all elect them, a press for 11, I gave them a stack. I use these words as my weapon, a demon obsession, we killing the pack. We go from humble to flexing, you DM, I'm texting, she hit me right back. I'm on the move, I'm not stressing the king.